Okay, so I'm going to do a few different text text te uh, text techniques right now. Um, the first one I'm going to show you is how to flip up text as if it was sort of lying on the floor and the letter is going to flip up one by one. Okay, so let's draw our text. Okay, so here's our word. Um, and you want these to flip up one by one. And the easiest thing to do is really to flip them up layer by layer, um, letter by letter. So that means I'm going to have to separate all of these letters into their own separate layers. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to duplicate this four times, actually three times, using the command D key. Okay, so this is going to be T. Turn that off. I'm going to isolate the E. Notice that my layer name is now the name of the letter. I have to turn on the T so I can get the spacing for the E. Turn those off. Turn on this copy. Isolate the X. Turn those back on again to get the spacing. And then isolate the T. And again, turn these back on so that I can get the spacing. And you can see that it named it T2 down here instead of just plain old T, which is fine. Um, okay, so I'm just gonna, what I want is to have these flip up. Um, I'm gonna highlight all of these layers. You just click on the top layer, go down to the bottom layer, and um, shift click to select all the layers in between. Now turn on 3D. Okay, and I want to look at the rotation property, so I'm going to do R, rotation, and when all those layers are selected, all the rotation properties for all those layers pop up. Okay, so this is actually going to be the end point for my animation. Um, so I'm going to go to one second here. And I'm going to be rotating on the x-axis and the x-axis only, so all I need to turn on is x-rotation. And I'm going to move my cursor over to, I don't know, maybe half a second. And I'm going to um, go to my degrees here, and I'm going to, let's see, now that's coming towards us, so I want it to lay backwards, so that should be negative 90. Okay, now I'm going to change the X rotation for all of those layers. Okay. I don't know if you can hear it, but one of my neighbors is playing the piano. It's kind of distracting. All right, I want to select all of these layers, and I actually don't want to see anything before this keyframe. So I'm going to cut off these layers um, so that you don't see that extra little bit of letter. I'm going to Option Open Bracket these layers. That way, anything prior to this frame isn't actually there. All right. So I'm just going to scrub through so you can see what it looks like. So there we go. Now I want to stagger these. Well, not stagger. I want them to sort of do a roll off. So I'm going to pull the layer for the letter just a little bit back. OK, now let's see what that looks like when I scrub. OK. Not bad. So that's one way of animating text. Um, if you want, I will actually do a preview of that for you. So you know, it's it's interesting. It's better than just sort of text popping on the screen. Okay, the next technique I want to show you. Uh, let's get rid of all this. Um, flipping from the middle. Basically the same thing, it's just you need to change the anchor point. So let me do the same thing, text. You need to figure out what 
the middle is. Um, and it's easiest if you change the anchor point before you split the word up into individual letters. I'm going to take the pan behind tool and that is going to move my anchor point. Um, I'll say the middle is right about here. Okay, so um, now I can duplicate this layer and do the same thing that we did before. Isolate the T. I'll make sure you're in the right tool. Isolate the E. Isolate the X. And you know what, these, um, these techniques that I'm showing you are really just supposed to be sort of a jumping off point for you. Um, think of all the different creative ways that you can take this and run with it. So rather than just animating, you know, from the bottom and slowly popping up, what else can you do? You can have it, have the text circle around a few times, you can have it, uh, you can have the opacity fade up at the same time, you can do all kinds of things. You can parent things, you can do them all staggered, you know. The possibilities are pretty much endless in After Effects, unless you want to do true 3D, you know, won't do that. All right, so I've got all of my letters isolated. Um, I have to turn on 3D for all four of those layers. I'm going to set my keyframe for uh, rotation, X rotation, for all those layers. Now I'm going to move my cursor playhead back to about half a second. And uh, let's say I want it to be at, what, negative 90. Okay, so what does it look like now? The letters flip up from the middle, which is fine. You know, it's about the same as the last thing that we did. Um, let's see, let's not forget to trim our layers. Oh great, my neighbors are vacuuming now. That's wonderful. Option open bracket to trim that layer. And I'm gonna move these again just a little bit. They sort of flip on one at a time. But you know, you can do a lot more than just this. I can have this circle around like twice before it lands. So, you know, let's go to this starting keyframe. Use the uh, left arrow over here on the left to um, go to the previous keyframe. I'm going to make that 2 and 90 degrees. Okay, make this two also, and this two and 90 degrees. Okay, so now what does that look like? I scrub through. It's kind of fun. Uh, let's do a little preview for you. It's kind of neat. <laughs> 